Before we get stuck in the interviews, I'd like to thank Prequel, who has uh, did an awesome, awesome job of filling in uh, Smoke and Mirrors. Such a good, such a good set. But let's get into the chats, which we're going to have a fair few of tonight. We're going to start with Adam from SI. SIC. SIC. And but, Chain Gun. And Chain Gun. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> mainly here to talk at first about the benefit that you... It's it's on Saturday week. That's right. At the venue. Yep. Um, what's it about? All right. It's a, a very old friend of ours, a very close friend of ours, who uh, 12 to 18 months ago was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um has had a pretty hard struggle with it. Um, when she was actually diagnosed with breast cancer, her mum was diagnosed with uh, schizophrenia and all those sort of crappy things. So her mum was put into hospital. So when she needed her mum and her family the most, they weren't there. Um, she's a single mother with a, a 19-year-old daughter now. Um, unfortunately, after about 12 to 12 or so months of uh, the breast cancer and all the stuff that goes in with that she was made redundant from her job so we all got together and thought let's throw a benefit show to, to give her help and show her that we all care and she's not alone yeah and it is an amazing lineup of bands you've got yeah. together to bring to for this yeah, charity totally everyone you know has been 100 percent so helpful with what's going on um you know there was no there was no uh struggle too big everyone just wanted to be behind it 100 percent. and every band that's on the bill has a very close association with lily um she was part of the the crew back through the you know the mid to late 80s um the whole steps crew as they call it um so you know there's all a lot of, of you know really close you know connections and everyone just wants to show her that they care excellent well it's do you know the lineup yeah, well, we've got opening up on the night's piss. Yeah, uh, who are reforming for the night, which is amazing. Old school thrash. Uh, following them, XXX, which are just yeah, yeah, glam rock, you know. So tease up that hair, I guess. Um, following them, we're going to have Rancor. It's you know they've reformed 25, 30 years, playing their first show. So that's pretty amazing. They were mm. such a fun band to watch back in the day. Then Chain Gunner going to follow after that. And then we've got Turret, who are bringing that old school heavy mm. metal to, to the forefront. Then we're, you know, Persecution are getting in there and they're going to slam us with the old good old thrash. And then SIC are reforming to do the show, which is a pretty special thing. Excellent. Well, that's really good. And, and such a good lineup. And also, it sounds like it's, it is a very, very good cause. It is. Yeah. And um, so if you're not doing anything, Saturday week, or even if you are, maybe cancel it and do it another time and come down. <laughs> yeah. Because it would be really good to see these gigs yeah. sold out because it's not about, yeah, it's about, you know, doing what's right and coming yeah. and seeing some awesome bands and, and feeling good about yourself. Yeah. And just showing that, you know, people, I mean, people fighting this terrible disease, they, you know, hit depression, they hide away from, you know, everyone that cares about them. And this is just showing people that people do care. Mm. And and unlike a lot of other venues, the Bendigo is better. The more people in it, like the more oh, crowd yeah. it is, the more fun yeah. it is. It's a- it is. It's. I think it's. You know, it's it's been around for a long time. And um, you know, I used to go and watch shows there back in in the late eighties. You know, the Badland Skate Crew used to have a mini ramp out the back. Yeah. Cool. You know, so it, it's just a, it, uh, and they've been so supportive about it. Excellent. You know, I can't thank them enough. Excellent. Well. I'm pretty sure you're going to be coming back in the studio a bit <laughs> later. That's a good introduction of what's happening tonight. We're going to get into some more tunes and then we'll bring in some yeah. other bands and have a chat and um, we'll kick get it off back in to talk about your other bands. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Yeah, that's next week on my show after midnight. But tonight we are talking to all the people from the Benefit for Lily show and we have Joe from Turret. Hey, Hello, man. how you doing? Yeah, good, good. Um, and you've brought in a new song to play. I have. We've been in the studio at Hellfire Records uh, with Bo Remy and um, recording a new CD. And I don't know, it was last weekend <laughs> and the weekend before. So uh, I'm up to a guitar solo stage and just putting in some stuff. And this is a new track that will be on the CD. 
and it's at demo mixing stage yet, so it hasn't been mastered or anything, so it'll be a completely exclusive demo version of what is to come. Haha, uh-huh, Wendy, that'll teach you for being sick. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, now, is this, are you working towards a new album? Is that, yep. is that what the, this yep. is about? I guess that's Absolutely. But, yeah. yeah, and how's that going? Good, man. We did six songs. So that's 35 minutes or something, I think, because I want songs yeah. are fairly long, mm-hmm. um, which is longer than Slayer's Rain in Blood, so it probably should be released as an album instead of an EP. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, the thing about the Rain in Blood is there's like one like six-minute song on it too. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everything's really short. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, it is. Look, it's going really well. It's um, sounding good. I like it. It's old school. It's um, definitely very 80s, that early 80s British sounding metal stuff. Mm. And um, it's great. And the lineup's going really nice, you know. Gab's an amazing bass player. I'm really digging what he's doing. Mm. He's filling in the spot. Grouse. And it's just really, really nice. All the sounds he's coming out with and he's coming into his own, which is fantastic. Yeah, cool. So at the moment, you're operating as a three-piece. Yep. Um, what's the difference between the live show of Turret as a three-piece compared to the four-piece for you? I think I think cause, um, it's making me work a bit harder. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, not having t- yeah, I don't have that extra guitar there to fill in the harmonies that I would like to hear that I've written, but that's okay. I think it works really raw and nice as a three piece as well. A bit tougher, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. And Gab's filling in those spots which with bass, and it's of course it's you know octave down. Yeah. So it's that extra you know heavier sound. I think. And he's pretty tough. So he's yeah. great. <laughs> Loving it. Maniacs rock. <laughs> Awesome. Now, what's your connection? Adam mentioned that everybody playing had a yep. connection to Lily. What's, Absolutely. What's yeah, we all, we all grew up together. Yeah, we're all hanging out at teenagers, um, late teens, into that first lot of early gigs in that late 80s, mm. uh, mid to late 80s. And, um, and yeah, we all used to just hang out together at the steps and stuff. I, not as, I didn't hang out as much because I was living in the country. I used to come into the city every now and again and just hang out. And that's how I got to know the metal crowd in Melbourne. And then got to find out about local metal bands and going and seeing local metal gigs, hanging out at you know Central Station Records and stuff at the time, which was what Greta was running back in those days. Excellent. So, yeah, it's really good. So that's that was that. That's how we all sort of got together, I think, and how I found out more about music in general, apart from listening to like PBS and Triple R at the time. Yeah. So um, it's important for people to get down to pay for, to yep. get to to get to this gig yep. and, and fill out the Bendigo. I was saying, oh Adam, it's important that we chalk it out yeah absolutely and that joint rocks man if it's got you know you put 200 people in there and it's just <laughs> awesome yeah it just jumps yeah it's yeah. like yeah it, it is the best venue in melbourne when it's full yeah like a lot, a lot of other venues go oh it's a bit but the no, venue goes more fun more yeah, fun absolutely and you can hang out in the front bar if it's too much you know and go yeah. have a smoking area whatever you know it's not yeah. it's there's space to room around you know to do stuff and hang out as well as it's in the bands right in your face which is which is great mm. and you know it's yeah, it's just a good good vibe happening there. Yep. It has been for the last several years. It's yep. the place to go. Yep. Now, what? So the last time I saw you guys, you're a four piece. Yep. Explain to everyone else what you're doing more on stage. Are you moving more or just having to play a bit more? I'm probably having to play a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. You know, it makes you work a bit harder, it's, it's and it, and it and it's it's. It's made me, um, I go, I guess, go back and listen to guitar a bit more, solos and stuff, because I was obviously mainly throwing solos at a lead guitarist and doing you know, some solos, but mainly a lead guitar player was playing lead guitar. And so now I'm doing all that as well. So that's really difficult for me because I'm not the best lead guitar player mm. but, in the world. But you, know, but you do write everything. I write right? everything, yeah. So, you know. Except for solos. And, and, I, and I give people, especially a bass player, it's their thing. I write the basic ideas and I say, go for it. Fill it in how you would play it. Mm. And, and you do it and that's it. Cool. Well, that's really good. Now, the new album that you're working on, mm-hmm. is there a change in the sound from the previous previous album? It sounds better. But yep. I don't. I don't think it's. Um, it's not that much of a deviation from the style or its general roots from mm. the early British metal sound at all. It's. Yep. It definitely follows on, and it's. So keeping it to that. Very much in that vein. Yeah, keeping it to that no womble womble or whatever. Absolutely. <laughs> womble music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep, keeping that sound going, which is you do. You guys do really, really well. Cheers. And a lot of people try to do it and don't always. Oh, it's my thing, it. man. I just you know, I, yeah. That's what I listened to so much of when I was growing up, and 
and always yeah, I was all those bands that I just wanted to play like and be like and do that stuff. And it's um, yeah, I can't get out of it. I, you know, excellent. Well, and a lot of those bands are putting out some pretty good albums this year. I played yeah, the yeah. Saxon earlier, and it's the, awesome. The Priest, it's yeah, like, it's that Priest one is just killer. Mm. I love it. The Saxon's really good too. Yeah. I'm surprised at that. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. It's really good, man. It was good. I got to see those guys um, a couple of years ago. Um, mm. when I was hanging out in Europe, so it was it was good to be able to hear all that stuff. The rumors are pretty heavy about Priest coming here too. Yay! Let's see what happens. Can't wait. Yeah. Hope it happens. Don't want to jinx anything, but <laughs> see, let's see how it goes. Well, thanks for having a chat. Thank you. We're going to play this track because we've got a lot of other people to talk to. I know. Yeah. Places fill it up. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you so much. So Please get down. Be- before we play it, what's the name of the track? All right. This track is called In the Shadows. Excellent. Well, this is In the Shadows from Turret, and it is brand new. Never played on radio before. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> there we have Persecution. And um, what track did we play? It was uh, Manifestation. Yeah. And we got Saundi in talking about, not only you're not talking about, not only you are talking about Persecution, but you're talking about your original band, Rancor, as well. Yes. Which is yeah. pretty exciting. It's the first time in like 100 years or something. Yeah. Since you yeah. Close enough. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, 1990 was the last Rankle show. Um, mm. Actually, just played around the corner at the Barley Corn. Mm. It was the last gig. And yeah. you didn't have any recordings from those days? We did a, we did a, like an eight-track demo. Mm. Uh, sorry, eight-track recording yep. with four songs. Um, but never got released. Yeah. It was pretty dodgily done and, yeah... I was just done in the in the, the house that we <clears throat> excuse me the house that we jammed in. Mm. I did vocals in the dunny, <laughs> natural reverb. Eh? <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, it never got released, unfortunately. Mm. So, do you think there's a chance there'll be more gigs after this one? Uh, probably not. Not for Rancor. Um, mainly, the main reason we're doing it is my. Actual band Sith Lord. Yep. Um, we've recorded Rancor songs. Okay. For Sith Lord albums. Mm-hmm. So that's why when this came about, I thought this would be something different and a lot more old school yeah. to actually get up and just play purely Rancor songs for this one instead of usually it's Rancor songs mixed in with Sith Lord songs. Okay, cool. So it's basically the Sith Lord lineup. Okay. Just playing. On like Rancor songs, yeah. Now, are you the... How, is there members from Sith Lord that were in Rancor, apart from yourself? No. No, okay, cool. only me. Yeah. Yeah. But but, um, um, but I think there's two Rancor members, actually three, that'll be, that should be turning up on the night. Cool. And spectating, yeah. So I dare say they'll be in for a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, <laughs> now... We haven't got any of this, your stuff to play. How would you no. describe Rancor to someone out there who hasn't heard you? Uh, it's probably real, real old school thrash death. Yeah, cool. Um, we started out as thrash, but then the death metal scene started really getting up there. So we started incorporating a lot of death metal into our songwriting. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the grindcore scene came in and then it ended up getting a bit more grindy death metal sort of stuff. But the stuff we're playing currently, you know, with Sith Lord is more the thrashy death metal uh, version of the earlier stuff, yeah. Excellent, excellent. So. Now, let's talk about persecution. Persecution, yes. <laughs> um, yes. And, and for the listeners out there, you're playing like four bands at this benefit, aren't you? Yeah, I'm being yeah. a bit of a band slut, <laughs> so what I've we'll, been told. <laughs> so and he's going to be sticking around in the studio for a little bit and talking a lot about yeah. stuff. <laughs> um, now, persecution, there's an interesting kind of story to the to like the reformation of persecution. Yes. Um, yes. You went in the original lineup, but you're... No, I was... that. A lot of their shows, even when they were called No Remorse, yeah, was it always up the front for a 
I can't count how many how many gigs, you know. Um, just love seeing him. And then years later, uh, the original guitarist, he ended up passing away for cancer, which is super sad. Mm. Um, and his brother, the guitar vocalist for Persecution, he unfortunately just lost the will to, to play music after his brother passed. So Bo, the original bass player, he had a lot of people asking, you know, is Persecution going to do anything, you know, or whatever. So he decided to put, a get, put together a line-up with more so not only just fans, but people who were really close with that, with that group, you know. Mm. And we've all come together to do that. Yeah. And, and the shows you've been putting on, like I've seen you a couple of times, they're awesome. Oh, like you guys are really <laughs> good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. It's heaps of fun, you know, even if you did fall off the stage during Sabbath. <laughs> <laughs> You're at the Bendigo again. You're going to be careful. Yeah. I, I do say I'm just glad I fell off the stage at the Bendigo than at Max Watts. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would hurt. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. But, you know. <laughs> People have got to give you a bit of room if you fall next time because yeah. <laughs> your arm guards are going to take someone out. <laughs> yeah. That's very true. Yeah. Well, so, it kind of ripped a, rips one guy's hand apart, so mm. tried to tried to catch me, poor fella. <laughs> Sorry, easy. So, <laughs> so advice, if you're at the front and Sony falls over, don't try and catch him. Have a good, good three-metre radius. <laughs> <laughs> Just let him fall to the ground, give him a beer, help him up. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Or don't just give me a beer anyway. Yeah. <laughs> do, do that as well. Um, now, you are playing in four bands. So are you doing any training building up to this gig? <laughs> oh, I'm rehearsing like a maniac. <laughs> yeah. It's been quite, been pretty full on. Um, it's a good challenge though. I've never, never been at this capacity before. So I'm finding it uh, mm. quite a good challenge, you know. So real good fun. You're doing vocals in two bands? Uh, right? Yes. So yes. vocals in two bands. And backing two. vocals in the other two. Yeah, and guitar in... Uh, guitar in three and just vocals in persecution, yeah. <laughs> you better not get it all mixed up. <laughs> uh, it's... Yeah, yeah. So there's a bit of differences in some of the bands, so which is which is good. Mm. Well, Very. I mean, it's interesting that the Rancor. This is a sort of one-off, the Rancor version of your band. Yeah, people need to go and see this gig. I'm hoping they at, do. Yeah, the band go. As we talked before, it's good good to see this sold out. Um, yes, yes. So, Especially for for the the cause. Yep. Especially the reason why we're doing it is yeah. for Lillian. Yeah. You know. So we really want to see it sold out and raise as much money as we can for her and help her along for the medical expenses and things mm. like that. And and what's your connection to Lillian? Um, I've known her since she's probably in 1989. Mm -hmm. So real old school. I did go out with her for, for about a year or so. Yeah. So, um, but we've always remained pretty good friends and yeah and stuff throughout the years yeah it's good to see everyone coming together to support someone who's a friend like I think that's I don't know one of the things about Melbourne people seem to come out if it's yeah yeah you know someone good support them and the thing with like Lillian's been to so many shows of a lot of these bands so it was kind of a no brainer to put the hand up and say oh well, how about we we can you know play on this if you know if yeah. you want us. Excellent. And luckily Adam decided, yep, we'll get them on, which is cool. Great. Well, we're going to play another track from Persecution, but you're going to be sticking around because I'm going to be talking to you about some other bands. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Legion. Yes. Excellent. Yes. It's a killer song. One of my faves. <laughs> Well, we're going to continue on with this um, chatting to all the people from the Benefit for Lily gig. But before we do that, 
Um, we just played. We started that bracket off with Persecution and Legion of Tortured Existence. Then we had Witchfind, Give Em Hell of Give Em Hell. Lucifer's Hammer was the um, instrumental track, and that was their self-titled um, instrumental track, Lucifer's Hammer of Beyond the Omens. Then we had Heavy Load and Midnight Crawl off Full Speed at High Level. And then we had XXXX, So Much for Love off the New Music Sampler Seniors. Two series. series sampler <laughs> series oh, series, series two. two. Yeah, yeah, I just I just teasing really. you guys. <laughs> Sorry, but seniors. we are seniors. Yeah. Seniors, we yeah. are seniors. But it was yeah. number two. It was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Ninety one. Yeah. yeah, got to take the opportunities 91. when you got it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm talking to Saundy again, yep. and Thor, and we are talking not only about XXX sex. XXX. That's going to throw me yeah. down. X, X, sex. X, X, sex. If you say yeah. X over and over and over again, you end up saying sex anyway. So <laughs> yeah. just. <laughs> and um, we're also talking about Piss. Piss that are. Um, first band on. First band on. And is this the first gig for a while or have you been playing around a bit? It's actually Piss? the first gig in 30 years. Yeah, Piss, yeah. Piss folded in 1988. And yeah, so we reform. Actually, it was my fiftieth last year, and I got the guys together just to do a couple of songs for the party, and we had a lot of fun and decided to do something with it. And we did, again, we pit like rank or we didn't record back in those days. The only recordings in existence are some pretty poor quality live recordings from a few pubs. But, but the exciting stuff is you were talking to me before we turned the mics on and you're going to work on a new recording. Yes, yes. Yes, well, that, that was the aim. We actually, be, you know, prior to this, like this isn't a spontaneous reunion for us for, for this particular show. Mm. We've been, you know, the last few months working on getting, almost rewriting the songs, you know, getting the structures right, ready for cool. recording. Even new this songs. Year. Yeah, 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 even new a couple of new songs. Well. Awesome. Yeah recording this year hopefully mm. and, and and for people out there that never saw you back in the day how would you describe piss well piss actually is an acronym it stands for permanently intoxicated seldom sober <laughs> and we were big drinkers and you know so it was very messy it was like a big wall of noise uh we were Young thrashers riding a slayer destruction and and all that kind of thing and venom yeah. and and, yeah. and mayhem as well to, to sort of throw it off and <laughs> and just kind of made this conglomeration of of thrashy punky crossover noise so and that was when no one knew who mayhem were yeah, no, yeah well that's true too yeah but it was definitely a, a crossover a, a, a punky thrash metal crossover with a bit of a black kind of edge to it like yeah no, no make no no black metal makeup or whatever you know we had all the big like, studs and yeah, you know both all full yeah. armbands and everything like but, that the but camos and vb t-shirts <laughs> but the sound has a little bit of that sort of darker edge than the, the thrash band but i suppose slayer did that as well didn't they really yeah yeah, yeah. the early slayer yeah. stuff so. oh they were a bit they were definitely a very big influence on piss i mean we look we, we weren't that good yeah, <laughs> but, but, so, but yeah. that's what we we aspired but, to. but yeah. but now we with the Reformation is, and you've all got a lot more experience. Is it sounding? It's better than back in the day. It's yeah. sounding unbelievably yeah. better back than back in the day. It, you should it's, hope so. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's, yeah. It, it's kind we'll of like the pumpers reckon. Yeah. Well, that, that's that's the thing, and it's almost going. It's almost going to be a. Uh, you know, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Because you know, some of the punters that do remem- remember us from the old days are going to kind of expect to see that the chaos. Pressure. Trashiness. Trashy, <laughs> thrashy, punky mess. Now it's and polished. we've kind of polished it up a little bit this year. <laughs> we've we've you know done some rearrangements of the, the songs and polished up a few, you know, things here and there and it's it's a much more mature sound. In fact, when we're at a point where we would have loved to have been thirty years ago. Awesome. You know, so it's yeah. yeah, I'm really proud of what yeah. we've actually managed to do with the mess that we you know <laughs> that we had. It's yeah. uh yeah, it, great fun. It does sound like people need to get there for the first band. Like that's yes. gonna be. Oh, if you miss with, Piss, you'll be spewing yeah, the whole. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's you know it's such a great lineup and all, um you know. But let's talk about XX Sex. Yes, which is the second band on. Second band on. Yes. So, so Piss is first, and then. Um, XXX yep. is on. Just to sum up, actually, the way the way it works is, 
Uh, Piss, we've got Snorkel Bender on drums. Yep. Yeah. Harry on guitar, the original yeah. guitarist member, and myself on bass and vocals. And our original drummer, Pete, we just don't know where he yeah. is these days. So, we, If you're out there. Yeah, if you're out there, Pete, get in contact with us, brother. It'd be good to catch up. It's been 30 years. <laughs> but uh, so... That's that lineup for Pierce, mm -hmm. and then XXX. We've still got Saundy's on guitar, yeah. And then I just drop the instruments and I'm lead vocals. Well, also, a bit of useless history is I was one of the first guitarists in Pierce. Yes. And then okay. I left to start doing Rancor, and then Harry came in, and then yeah, yeah. we started gigging after after that point. Okay, yeah, cool. So the, respective the, bands. It's like this big family tree of bands on the night. It's, 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 Intertwine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was teasing Joe yeah. before that he's only playing in one band, which I think is a bit soft. For yeah, it is. It is. A, a it very is. soft of Joe. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah. is he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I often go to a gig and see Joe in at least three. <laughs> well, um, yes. Sorry, well, sorry Joe. <laughs> yeah. Now, XXX are more sort of glammy... A little bit more uh, rock and roll. Yeah, we're yeah, glad without yeah, the glam. We're yeah, not very more glamorous. Rock, more, <laughs> we were thrashers playing rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, more, so it was heavy rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Which it had that kind more of, uh, pacier edge to it. Yeah. More. Yeah. Well, kind of ahead of your time because that's where the glam bands have gone to anyway. Like they tend yeah. to be more like a thrashy kind of yeah. rock and roll than we they were. We saw that happen and it, and it actually spun us out. The, the, the funny thing was, when we first started XXX, Sawneys and I got together, Rancor had just recently folded. Yeah. I'd been playing bass with the, the Blackjack Boys under the, the name of Comancheros we were, yeah. we'd been playing and that had just folded around the same time. And we'd been doing thrash for years and stuff and I mean that's our biggest love. But mm -hmm. it, funny enough, we started listening to Faster Pussycat around yeah. that time too, like just for a bit of a joke, I think. Mm -hmm. But it, like, like it did. It started off fun, to, like that song Babylon and, and, and all of that. And then Saunders and I were joking one night over a few beers, you know, how about we do something like that? But we'll dress up with makeup and everything so no one knows it's us. Tease our hair. You know, yeah, we'll tease our yeah. hair, and, you know, even to a point almost like drag or something. And we'll go out and no one will know it's us. And we'll do this thing in front of them. We can dance around with our guitars and, yeah. and all of that. that. That was the original intention. But as we started getting a band actually happening and working on songs and getting more serious, we didn't want to do that silly stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so... Our first gig was with two bands at the time, Desire and Crimson Flame in Melbourne. They were, they were very glammy, the very yeah. lipstick and leathery sort of, very sort of thing. Yes. And uh, we've gone out on stage in you know in our leathers and Slayer t-shirts and Creator t-shirts and stuff, Jeez. and and probably played the most thrashiest of yeah. <laughs> versions of our songs. The following week, I think it was the following week or two weeks later, yeah, we, we were playing with, with Christbait and. and um, <laughs> Damnatory and Seminole, yes. which so always was a heavier band. Yeah, a really thrashy band. Yeah. And we wore fast the glam, pussy. Glam shirts. <laughs> fast the pussycat t shirts and everything. And yeah. we, so we got a, we had this ability to blend in with the glam scene and the thrashy scene by just being us guys playing our heavy rock yeah. and roll. And it was, it was great well, fun. Basically, we just like to take the piss. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we did. And no one knew how to take us. Because we were just, you know, we weren't serious about all that, you know, having to fit into that whatever scene, whatever night yeah, it was. Yeah, you know, so they're, pre no they're pretty serious dudes for a whole lot of makeup and big hair. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we, we were serious to a point that we were really, really young and thought we were going to be rock stars. <laughs> 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 but we weren't serious to the point that we weren't doing all the work required to actually become that. You know? yeah. <laughs> so, now we're old and we still think we're going to be rock stars. <laughs> <laughs> the parties have slowed down somewhat, though, I must admit. Excellent. Now... Is this show the only XX show that you're doing? XX 
XXX. Well, yeah. well X, XXX is, well, it's in the name. It's a sexually transmitted disease. It's very similar to herpes. It doesn't seem to go away. It's like, you know, we've got some... It f- comes back every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> we've got some 50th birthdays coming up with a couple of the guys. So, you know, who, who knows what they want to plan for their birthday parties and but, things like that. But people who want to see you, they've got to get down to this gig. Oh, yeah. yeah. It'll be, a, it'll be yeah. a while, I'd say, before yeah. you get to see XXX again. Uh, and, and just to note that... The past few shows that XXX have played have had more of a later lineup. This particular show is the original 1991 lineup, which was on that song you just played. Awesome. So that lineup hasn't been, hasn't played together since 91. Yeah. So this is the first time. Awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like I was joking the other night at rehearsals. I said this is kind of like our Deep Purple Mark II, and they all went, "Ah, oh, we're not that good." Well, that, that is like, my, my point was. No, got my, point my, there, my, no, my point was th- this was this was a very magical lineup in the day. It was it was our origins. It's where we started. It's what created the band. We wrote most of the songs with that lineup, and it it, it formed what we were going to be. Great. We changed lineup. I mean, hex hex hex. We say is a, a five piece, sometimes yeah. a four piece band, with about twenty members or so. Yeah. You know? So, but it, yeah, it's uh, been yeah. a journey, been a fun thing. It never officially disbanded, as in it's over. Um, but we don't have any great plans apart from hopefully one day getting in the studio and doing a decent job recording, of recording our songs, recording all the songs, especially more for our memory sake. We spent a lot of time on the band. Back in the through the nineties, and we've only got a couple of songs recorded. So <laughs> you know, uh, it would be nice to have them actually recorded properly, and so we can think, okay, grouse. Yeah. yeah, entirely. We've got six songs recorded, three very bad recordings, and you know, th- one decent, really one decent really one, and and yeah. two, and two songs. That are not too bad. The, one of those is coming up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, this one. This one was recorded by the Giles brothers from Blackjack. Um, uh, wait, wait, ninety-four, I think. And uh, very early, yeah, ninety-three, I think. Yeah, around about then. And uh, on a yeah. eight-track tape yeah. thing, and yeah, it was a fun day. They've yeah. jumped in. They've actually both John and Rick are in doing a little bit of backing vocals on this as well. I think. Actually, no, that's the other song we're not going to play. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, but it was. We yeah. just set it up in a re- in a rehearsal studio. They just come in and set it so up. The main thing that people should take out of this this chat though is you need to get there early to see Piss and XXX, yeah. and make sure you do not miss these two bands because it's going to be awesome. Yeah. But also, they just need to get there early for Happy Hour. Yeah. <laughs> not just Happy. You don't want to miss any bands on this night. This, yeah. this night is, no, is no it's, it's, be it's, it's night. almost a mini version of Metal yeah. from Melbourne there's, from last year. It's, there's it's, no like throwaway opening band at this lineup at all. There's no. no, none of that business. No, no. Everyone yeah. is awesome. Get there. Yeah. Don't miss a thing. Don't a strong miss a lineup. Second, yeah. Because you'll be lineup. if you get there later on and everyone will be talking about someone you've seen earlier. And yeah. they'll be going, oh, that was so good. Like, yeah. you know, they'll never get to see it again. You don't want to be that person. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be that one. No. Won't see it again. Cool. So we're going to get into Leech. This yes. one's Leech, yes. This is one of my faves. Yeah, mine too. Yes. Um, following the XXX track Leech, we had Twisted Sister and I am me, UFO, Doctor, Doctor, Virtue, High Treason, and Merciful Fate, the Oath. Then we had Chain Gang and Mesmerize. I'm going to talk to Adam from Chain Gang after this, but I'm just going to quickly run through Wendy's patrons: Diamond Fox, Maddie Slug, the performer members, Palace of the King, Right After Midnight, the Bennies, Right After Midnight have re. I don't know whether they've resubscribed or they've subscribed the first time, but Wendy will talk more about that next week. The Bennies, the Mercy Kills, Turret. Of course, we had Joe in earlier, Vendetta, and then personal patrons: Anthony Tamarch, Derek Cox, Jack Holtz, and Ringo. 1962 Beetle. Also, friends for a decade. Cal G, Sun Slave, The Stabbing Trade, and also Friends for Life, Marty Machine, and Steve Passioris. Well, after that tongue twisting, hey Adam. Hey. <laughs> um, back again, 
to talk about Chain Gun. Yeah. Gun, the first of the two bands that you're playing in. That's right, yep. Saturday week. Yeah. The benefit for Lily. Yep. Um, now, what's the history behind Chain Gun? Gun. All right. Well, me and uh, Tony, the guitarist, um, I mean, we've been friends since the late, early to late 80s. Um, just saw each other out one night, thought we'd start playing again. Um, so we started writing all these songs and a, a really good friend of ours, James, came in on bass. And then uh, Tony's old band Hyperion, uh, Jim, he was looking for a band to sing in, so we got him to come and sing. So that's pretty much how it all kicked in and yeah that's where we are today cool and you guys are playing are you third on fourth fourth on yeah fourth on at um the benny go saturday week yep and yeah. um is there a break between chain gun and sic yeah i've, I've got a couple of hours on sic headlining the show so yep. i've got a bit of bit of time up my sleeve to uh prepare myself again so yeah we'll talk more a bit a bit about that later yeah now so is chain gun currently running Steve? yeah yeah that's that's a self-released title we just put out so we've done a, a limited run on vinyl of 150 copies and about 100 maybe 200 copies on cd uh we just finished up recording six new songs mm -hmm. um which we're hopefully going to have out early next year um, more in the same vein, keeping that sort of 70s heavy metal alive. So, yeah. Um, and then hopefully playing a lot more. Cool. Cool. Um, and will they be available? Yeah, the, I'll have the, the CDs and album for on the night to, to buy. Excellent. Um, yeah, so grab a copy if you enjoy it. Yeah, that's really good. Um, now, you... This band, it's been, you got gigs coming up after? Yeah, we've got another gig coming up at the Rev uh, with Chain Gun. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of the date, but it is, I think it's late November. Um, and that's with Black Jesus. Excellent. And uh, Rise of the Rat. Um, so that that's at the Reverence. And then hopefully have some more stuff as we get ready to release the, the next EP. Excellent. Well... We'll keep the chain gun chat yeah. short. Let's yeah. get into another track. What's the first track we played was Mesmerized. Yep, what's that's the title track off the album. And what's the next one? The next one we're gonna do is Nothing Left to Say. Awesome. Yes. That to continue on, the final part of this epic, epic interview session, we have Adam to talk about SIC, but welcome to Burning Bitumen. Of course, I was Metal Genesis before this. <laughs> now I'm Burning Bitumen, my normal show. Um, thank you to Kenny for doing Metal Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> and now we'll continue on. Um, Adam. Yes, back we, again. Back again to talk about SIC, yeah. who are headlining the benefit for Lily. Yes, they are, yeah. And this is a reformation. It is, yeah. Yeah. Um, this has probably should been in the works for quite a while now. And to finally get it up and running is pretty amazing. Um, yeah, it's just going to be an absolute fun, fun night. And yeah, I just can't wait for people to get down and, and see all the bands on the night. Now, what brought, brought SIC reforming? Was it this gig or have you was it in the works? Well, me and Damien... Um, I've been friends for years. I'm I'm not an original member for SIC, um, but Damien, Luke, and Re well, Ruben came in a bit later on. But we've sort of talked about it for quite some time. We were going to try it a few years ago. Um, unfortunately, things just didn't sort of line up to be able to do it. And this time around, the importance of the show, everyone felt it was the right thing to do, and it was the right way to go about it. Um, and it's just lined up, so it's it's worked out really well. Um. Will there be more shows after we'll this see, one? We'll see how this one goes. Probably not, but, you know, it depends. Everyone has a pretty busy life. Um, Luke uh, travels a lot with work, so he does spend a lot of time in the state. So that's always a hard thing to line him up to, to make things work. So, But, yeah, it's definitely, um, if it's a one-off, it'll be a really good one-off, I think. Awesome. Now, what's do you know a bit of history of SIC? 
Yeah, I, I know it pretty well, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, they were around in, in, in the early 80s. Um, they pretty much started out as just a thrash band, mm. um, playing a lot of covers just to get gigs, um, just to be able to play with, you know, all the old, you know, Blackjack and Taramis and all those bands. Um, and then, obviously, they got more into the crossover thrash, yeah. the DRI and, and your SODs, and, um, and it took off from there for them. And, and then... Out of nowhere, they just became a really, really popular band towards the end of the 80s. Mm. Um, definitely probably one of the most popular ones that were up there with the hard-ons. They used to play a lot with hard-ons, a lot with Mass Appeal, um, you know, and just the whole skate thing, you know. It was it was the perfect time for everything about that, which was yeah. fantastic, you know. Yeah, they do that. They got that sound really well. Like, as soon as you hear it, you go, ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's locked into that, that crossover thrash, you know. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, me growing up as a, as a young skater and a, and a young kid, you know, they were like my favourite band. You know, there was there was DRI, there was Cryptic Slaughter, and there was SIC. Um, and then to get to know the guys and now to do what I'm doing with it, you know, I mean, me and Damien went on to form 28 Days, um, but this is has a really special place in my heart. You know, it, it introduced me to a lot of a lot of friends. Uh, and and a, just a lot of memories that you know I struggle to replace. You know, they're, they're just the, the best times of our life. You know, Saturday mornings, get get on your skateboard, skate all day, and then SIC are either doing an all ages show or a show somewhere, and that was your weekend. You know, and you were on the dance floor, so it was it was fantastic. Now, what's the important thing to say is this is going to be basically a one-off at the moment at that's the moment the, yeah it's it's looking that way but yeah. yeah and that's and that's not the only one-off gig that's happening there's like about three of the shows <laughs> three of the bands playing yeah. next saturday night are one-offs yeah and if you miss them and you rock even if you come to the gig and you miss some of those early bands yeah. and you go oh and someone goes oh <laughs> xx sex were amazing or yeah, someone yeah. like that you'd well, seeing Rancor. Rancor. You, you're not going to see that ever again, no. you know. And, you know, doors are at six, you know. Mm. Front bar opens at four. Yeah. <laughs> Make and, it. you know, you can get food at the Bendigo. You can stay yeah. there for a long time. Yeah, you, yeah. You can what, really put yourself in there. And, yeah. What better place to be at on a Saturday Arvo, you know. Mm. Um, and for an amazing cause. Yeah. An, an absolute amazing cause. Yeah. You and, know. So, and hopefully... It's sold out and chock a block, so everyone needs to get on down to this. Yeah, this gig. It's you it's know. it's just it's just going to be such a, an amazing night, full of a, a lot of fun times. And uh, I think if you miss it, people will be talking about it for years to come. I, I reckon it'll be like that recent the uh, medal for Melbourne gig yeah. that a lot of people that miss that are talk, like are just spewing that they miss it because that will never happen again. No, and and this is the same. It won't happen again. No. It's, not yes. not in not this lineup, you know. Yeah. Definitely not. And uh, yeah, it's just it's. I can't wait. I'm I'm so excited. It's been a lot of hard work, um, and you know I've I've got to thank everyone that's been involved and everyone that's put their hand up to help. Um, can't thank them enough. We're going to make it a special night for a special person. And you're yeah, you're really helping a very special cause. Mm. So um, thanks for coming in tonight, no. Adam. It's been great. And um, thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. We're going to play another track. From the, SIC, yeah, it's the only the only record they ever put out. The Screaming in Church is twelve inch, mm. bit of a rare record these days. And um, yeah, this song's Radiation. Awesome. Might take a while to put it up. Didn't really cue it up properly. Here it comes. <laughs> <Here's> it comes. <laughs> 